Hi, welcome back. Today we'll continue the journey in TBC 520 and work with validation points. Sometimes you don't want to use all the control points for a scan registration. Instead, you want to leave some of them as a checkpoint to evaluate the overall performance of the registration. TBC 520 introduces this function as validation points. You would measure the point pairs as usual, but they will not influence the registration. In this video, you will also see all the statistics well summarized in the mobile mapping mission report. In this dataset, we surveyed plenty control points along both sides of the road. Some can be used for 3D control, but some are only good for elevation control because those are PK nails sitting at the center of small reflective tapes and it's difficult to get their accurate horizontal positions. Meanwhile, since there is some redundancy, I will save a few as my validation points. Follow the same workflow to start a scan registration. Change re the registration name and the type as needed. Then add all the planned points to the panel. Starting from TBC 520, points in any coordinate quality can become control points for mobile mapping registration. Before, only points in control or unknown quality will be considered. Now, there is no need to maneuver the coordinate quality one by one. Besides the removal of the quality limitation, it is now much more flexible to use a point for X, Y, or Z. Users can tick the checkbox and configure each point from the panel. A new column is added in 520 to save points for validation. Check the box if you only want to use this point for evaluation. Besides the regular single click, you may use shift click to highlight a group of points and change the usage once for all. Or you can use control click to select multiple points and then make changes. Sometimes you may have a long list of points and you want to remember this usage status. TBC 520 has thought about it. Once the configuration is done, you can close the command or even close the current TBC project. Next time, when you restart the registration on this run, add the same points. Their status will maintain and there is no need for reconfiguration. Now it's time to pick the point pairs. The reflective tape is quite small and creates some noise in, uh, in elevation. So I will use the intersected plane as my picking type. Always double check the accuracy by rotating the view. Then move to the next point 
and follow the same routine. For a validation point, the workflow is exactly the same here. You would find the point pair as usual, but this point will not contribute to the registration. At the end of the registration, we will still see some elevation residual of this checkpoint, while other control points will have zero residuals. Continue the procedure. The last few control points were surveyed at corners of road marks. I will choose the corresponding picking type. All the point pairs are ready to go. Compute the new trajectory. As you can see, all the control points will have zero meter residuals. And if we navigate to a, valid, a validation point, the residual will not be zero. Click apply to replace the old trajectory. Before updating the scans, it's a good time to check the mobile mapping mission report. This report follows the standard TBC HTML format. It starts with the basic information about the mission. Then it lists all the trajectories that belong to each child run. For example, Run 0 has only one trajectory, and Run 1 now has two trajectories attached. Control points are listed under the registered trajectory. You may check their types, coordinates, and residuals before and after the registration. At the bottom, you can also review the parameters used in the noise filter during the scan generation. Use this report to track down and correct any mistakes before you proceed to scan update. Then we're back to the same routine, update scans. Confirm the trajectory and process. The statistics may look good but visual check is still a must-have. Let's create some cutting planes along the run. From the Point Clouds tab, open Plane Manager. Create a new plane definition. The method would be from linear path, and the path will be our new trajectory.
Now go to the second tab. I will snap to all my control points and create subplanes at those stations. Put the cursor in the Add Station box, then approach the point until you see the snap circle. Click and tap Enter to add the plane. Repeat to add more planes. Close the Plane Manager and open Cutting Plane View. Turn back on the updated point cloud. and change the plane thickness. Then use the slider to go through each control point for evaluation. That's all for today. One more video on the way. Thank you for watching.